stand out in the open with a sniper and a nest. There's all these like I nice cover. I got a fucking plan, got, but yeah, there's plenty of cover out there. Do I get half cover from all of his friends? Nope. No, you do not. <laughs> um, that is going to be 12 points of piercing damage uh-huh. and 14 points of cold damage. I'm, oh. I'm down. Oh, yeah. unconscious? Unconscious. <laughs> wow. wow. You you hear once more the <laughs> the massive bolt just streaks through with a high pitched whine, and FCG. Gets blasted and tumbles. Poof, 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 and skids. Undo turn into... undead? I'm going to double check the rules. Laura, help. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Laura, wait. That image is just. Laura. Oh, just oh just no. Taking some no. fucking cover. God damn it. Don't think about it. One minute until it takes damage. So, yeah. So, one no. minute. Even while you're unconscious, they didn't even see it happen. They're all it's, still running from you. They're running from my god, not from me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Oh, it's very humble. God fucking damn it. But you are now <laughs> laid out, a secondary bolt just kind of <sighs> sticking out of your torso right now. Still don't know how to. Did he take more than one shot on me? Uh, I am now pointing nope, that was at just that one motherfucker. Shot. Um, it's going to go ahead and reload. <laughs> Up and to go ahead and take a secondary shot. Some bitch. I am uh, pointing at him. This is going to be at. Down onto the deck because you're now the oh, other shit. immediate I threat. They were both That'll be the end of it. Great. <laughs> That's going to be uh, 13. Shkoom! <laughs> Splinters <Okay>. the wood. <laughs> Shards of it go flying around you as it just kind of sticks about six inches out of the deck. Taller than me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that finishes there. Oh, go. God no. damn it. FCG's down. I'm down. God damn it. Actually, you know what? They're gonna go ahead and <gasps> Cliff step dive? up, and then. Yeah. Oh! Whoa! You got boots. Over to the other top there. God damn it! Jack and yeah, two seats. Yeah. Motherfucker, I have plans. I gotta save your butt. God damn it! Alrighty, finishing there. Go the rest of the crew. I'm back, baby. We were. Ah. I hate them. Fifteen. They can only get up that far. Great. They spend half their movement Bro. to get there. They're both going to dash with the rest of it. Great. Speed I talk. wish, of course, I have like zero. <laughs> and they both fall into the hole. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so you're holding onto the edge. They both go woof, woof, over oh. top, and they fall down ten feet. Both of them taking. Is this into our hole? They both yes. take it. They both take uh-huh. enough damage to fall in, and, and then immediately. <laughs> Again. <laughs> so wait, yes, can you just like cool. yes, yes, yes? <laughs> oh yeah, we can. We fold can. it. Those guys are handled for a minute. So good. Yeah. Yes. We can open that at any yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> Two out over here into the water. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh god. God fucking damn it. They're just running up behind you, splashing into the water. Look out, loud nah. These two do run away. Uh, getting attack opportunity from either of you, if you'd like. Um, yeah, I'll if take you, that. Oh, no, I never mind. Them, yeah, right. no, stop that's running. right. I'm like, ah, no. Let them keep running. Yeah, if you just hit doing them, the. Let them keep running. Let them keep running. Both of these guys are running way <laughs> off the side. Let them run. Okay. Let them run. <laughs> they are just bolting away. Um, and this one here, who's still good, is going to turn. I don't know if I call good. Half, half uh, it's just, just it's this little, this little baby. Little, <laughs> this little, this little <laughs> skeletal halfling is like, <laughs> just comes like, just. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, no, 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 like no, little no, baby no, zombies no, in Minecraft. No, they're like, <laughs> yep. What's get away! Of, <laughs> what's the name of worse. Hook's sidekick? Smee. Smee. That's what. There you go. <laughs> but it took its its action to dash to get there, so it just runs up to you <laughs> at your base of you. Uh, finishing there, go now. FCG, you're up with front on deck. I'm up. Yep, I need you to make a death saving throw. All right. <laughs> nope. Wow. First fail. Wow. Wow. All right. Vern, you go. Okay. I'm confident. Don't get bit. I'm Stand by. confident. You know why? Because yeah, I've got right? the gods. I do want to use your tattoo. I'm just wondering. I don't have anything to write on it with. If I'm going to be petty because of what That's he did permanent. to Lagna, it's fine. It's not I'm not going to be petty. Death is permanent. Are these the deaths? Yeah, the dark ones. It can be any petty people. Okay. okay. What you got? I am going to cast Cure Wounds okay. on this dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm going to do it at second level. 
level, maybe. I'm gonna do it at second level. All right, so it's two d eight plus most your wisdom. Basic question, but <laughs> I know. Can be the most basic one. No, no, no. All I'm I need is one hit point. Yeah. I'm gonna do cure wounds at first level. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. All right, so one d eight plus your wisdom. What if you get hit immediately? But I'm just like have to do it again. It's enough to take out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, eight points. Amazing. So you heal me. Come back to consciousness. Two <gasps> bolts sticking like two feet out of your torso. Get up! Get up! <laughs> Why are you mad at me? <laughs> because you, 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 you look what you did to Lana. You just threw everything off. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Uh, can you want me to be dead again? Can we get them out of the way? <laughs> yeah. Is there all right. <sighs> so, um. <laughs> okay, so that was my action. So then. <coughs> nice. As a. That's a post death burp. Yep. <laughs> I don't think I can. No. Shit. All right. When I was so, there, I realized. as a bonus action. Had a lot of gas. <laughs> <laughs> I believe. Can I do a second level bonus action? You've already cast a spell uh, with your actions, so you can only do a bonus action that's a cantrip, unfortunately. Got it. Okay. Stand mm. by. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna. Um, I'm gonna do Caleb's produce flame cantrip, um, and I'm just gonna put is, my. Is that a bonus action? Oh god. No. Oh no, it's not a bonus action. I'm sorry. Let me see. No, it's not a bonus action. What am I doing? There you go. Yeah, any, right anything there. anything oh. with this little fucker next to me, so. Alright, I'm just gonna uh If I try to attack the little guy, am I able to also do my movement? I don't know why I'm having like such a brain. You can move still, yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is <coughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna melee attack. The little guy. Well, you've used your action to what cast What am I doing? Wounds. Okay. That's a go. I'm going <laughs> to keep walking towards the boat. Okay. And then. 25, the one that ramped to you goes <laughs> and strikes out with and an And I have 35 Correct. feet of movement. So move you to about there. All right, so that one's going to go ahead and attack you. That is going to be a 14 to hit. Does not hit. Does not hit. But because of my fire shield, and if he took a melee attack at me, he takes damage. Uh, can I do this? Will it work? Hits you with the melee attack, Ugh. so it has to hit you to take the fire damage. Copy that. I don't no understand That's okay. any of this. All right, and now Mister. Uh, where's Mister? Mister is right over here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have him go as far as he can. I guess around that way. No, you know, uh, God damn it! Mm. What's wrong? Little What's wrong? Skeleton there, fucker. Is there one that I'm missing? There. There's what? a skeleton right next to FCG. Oh, oh, oh yes. That Sorry. one's not turned. No, no and he's gonna attack you. That's the one that's gonna flame, go kill you again. Flame seed at him. Go for an attack. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, it, it lashes out at you, misses, thank and you, immediately thank like, you. Ah, turns back to the metal man on the ground. Uh, twenty-two. That hits. Go and roll damage. Skip a doop a doop. Doop, doop, doop. Ooh, Pustu. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, what's Pustu? 13. 13 points of damage. Me. Now it's just <laughs> flaming turd is like burning on its shoulder. All right, that's my turn. That's my turn. All right, finishing ferns go up of the round. Orem? Cool, I'm going to grab hold of this giant crossbow bolt in the deck and swing around into uh, the enemy next to me and try to do a pushing attack into the water. Whoa, I just dropped a die on the okay, floor. Okay, so you swing around here. Uh, that is a 27 to hit. 27 definitely hits. Has to beat a DC 17 so This strength. is a shove? All right. It's a pushing attack, 15 feet. Oh, pushing feet. attack, that's right, okay. So it has a 17 17 strength. points of damage? No, 17. Oh, 17 strength, sorry. Strength save, yeah. What was the damage on it? Oh, I didn't do it yet. Uh, 4, 6, 10, plus. Uh, 12. 12 points of damage, and there's a natural 19. Oh, I will uh, rebound off of it, hit the ground, and then just drive my shoulder and the blade in again and do it again. Okay. Uh, that misses, that's uh, 12. 12 misses, unfortunately. Yeah. So the first one, you, you go ahead and, and strike and mm. pop it in, gets back on, puts the blade ready. This one, it parries it to the side, and you both kind of are in a standoff position. Uh, hold ground. Okay. Yep. Finishing your go. <laughs> Ashton, you're up. I'm gonna take my uh, five, ten. I'm gonna take my two steps to that little motherfucker. Alrighty. 
and I'm going to take a big wide swing straight at him. I'm gonna I'm gonna reckless. Croquet, baby, let's go. Uh, that's uh, sixteen to hit. Sixteen hits. Oh, actually, twenty to hit. Excuse me. I don't hey, know why. Still hits. Yeah. Even more. Uh, let's do uh, let's do some damage. Let's do uh, twenty points of damage. Twenty points of damage. And it just breaks into the ground as you like slam it upward. Poof, scatters a bit across the sand. Thank you, Ashton. Is it gonna be okay? Thank you, I'm Ashton. <laughs> Grab the vertebrae and just like throw it further into the water. So well, I mean, this is the question. I'm now going to teleport. I'm now going to teleport. Um, you saved. How far can you teleport? Sixty feet. Where do you want to go? Um, oh, we're gonna beat that. I wanna. I wanna uh, head this way, like right by that. Like how? Like like how Here? far can I? Okay, That's I can go that far. Um, I want to go right to that, um, like right behind that that uh, uh, icicle. What on the other side? Over here. Like right uh, on the other side of it. A little further. Uh, here it says. Mm, here? Where's a Where's a stick? Okay. I have a stick. As long as, yeah, one one back from that little whirlpool. It makes me nervous. Okay, there. Um, and then I'm going to take a shot. I'm going to use a uh, wormhole strike, motherfucker. Okay. At that goddamn bolt fucker. <laughs> You heard me! The bolt fucker! That's a 60 foot range. 60 foot range, should be there. 60 foot range, yep, they're within range. All right, this is going to be fun. Uh, what are we going to do? All right, just want to put aside all the dice I'm about to use for this shit. Uh, da -da -da -da. And then, sorry, I'm using a thing I never use. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. I didn't want to interrupt. Can I ret, ret in a bonus uh, second wind? Sure. Thank you. I'll let's burn a point of that. Uh, there we are. Uh, Ready. Oh, I can't do it that way. That's okay. That's okay. Go away. That's good. We'll yeah. Attack. All right. So rolling my rolling my attack. Come on. Don't fuck up. Uh, Twelve. Twelve. Oh wait, this one's cocked. Thank fucking god. Oh wow, that's way better. Sorry, this one's like yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was a journey. I was yeah. like, uh, uh, okay, I'm looking at it funny. Thank God. Uh, shit. Uh, 29. 29 definitely hits. Fuck. <laughs> wow. Fuck. That scared me. Um, so that's. Unleash the hounds. This, is, this works. Um, that's. Uh, it's 11 plus. Uh, that's 23 points of damage, points of and he gets shoved uh, one oh. square oh. from forward because the, the, the hammer is coming Ooh. from behind. That's true. The other way. So, back oh. of the head. As it's like getting in the bolt ready for the second shot, you go ahead and swing your hammer, and as you swing it partway through, your arms just vanish for a moment, and from behind, a portal opens, and the hammer crack hits the sniper from behind, and they just crack and tumble. Ass of her tea kettle, tea kettle off the side. Damn, that's some good range, bro. <laughs> Onto yes. the deck. So, how much damage was that? That was 23. That was 23. Plus 50 feet oh. to the ground. So, that is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 15 points of bludgeoning damage. And it is prone. It just boom, hits the deck with a heavy thud. Parts of the deck kind of splinters up around it, and you see the skeleton's like. Oh, is he he not quite do down? Do no, no, it's still standing. He's a hard or it's, oh, yeah, he is a hard God damn it. The ones on the ship seem to be made of a, a stronger, sturdier stuff than the regular crew members. Yeah. I still have some movement, which is disgusting, but true. Mm -hmm. uh, 15, 20, 25. I can't quite make it shit. Um, Oh no! <laughs> what, a, what a lackluster turn! That was fun. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to try and head back to FCG. Alrighty. Okay. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Yep. Right Damn! There. What? <laughs> Globe trotting motherfucker. Alrighty. Duty man. Duty man. That's really cool. Duty man. All right. Captain, you, this fucker hadn't gone down, it would have been way worse. You didn't give me a high five. This would have been way crazier. Except the captain's still kind of pacing and watching. And it kind of gives like a nod to the water and the whirlpool. Oh, shifts. <laughs> nod? Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh, it serves you right! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now the water's like, he moved it? He's moved it. Wow. So, it moves underneath, we'll come to that on your turn. Um, oh god. It is now Mitchell's turn, the one that's fighting you on the deck. It's going to go ahead and try and dance around to this side. Uh, saying, I know your game! And it's going to attempt to do a shove strike on you. Go ahead and make an athletics check. Oh, good. Yep. Well, let me double check to make sure if it's athletics or sure. athletics and acrobatics. Maybe keep coming back to this, but I just want to make sure. So don't get. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah. He's pushing you on? Yes. Would be... So you make athletics Deep or acrobatics? Your choice. Oh, I'll do acrobatics. Try to dodge. That is a 20. There you got a 20 as well. <gasps> well, I will use Zephyrin Heart. Well, oh. 20 is meter beat, so you'd actually beat it on oh. the, oh. Oh, the then first strike. Okay. Uh, frustrated by how you just kind of, they try and bash you in the side, and you pull up the shield, and you both just kind of, <laughs> your feet slide about an inch, but it's barely any movement. Angrily, it's going to go ahead and uh, spin around with its short sword and try and stab you over the shield. Shit. That's pretty good. That is going to be. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Raise the shield up higher. It's going to now shout over here. The captain's orders to the one next to it, and this one's going to be like, "Make sure you shoot true." And so we'll see whatever that gets to. You smell real bad. <laughs> All right, that finishes. It's go. Chetney, you're up. Lonnie, you're on deck. Oh, can I try? Actually, getting your turn because you're in the water. Uh huh. The freezing, ice cold waters around you begin to just cause your body temperature to drop deeply. You take 10 points of cold damage. Oh, this shit's cold around this boat. What? Good thing I've been doing cold plunges every morning before I join the team. <laughs> All right, now it's still your turn. What do you want to do? Uh, fingers, a claws in the hole. Can I climb up the side and get up onto the deck? 20. 25 gets you right about there. Can I use the rest of my movement to get right over the guy that fell yeah, you can from the crow's nest? Right up next to it. And with my action, can I reach down and try and wrestle that big fucking heavy cross yes. bro out of his stupid hands? <laughs> sure, make an athletic, this would be a strength versus strength test. Okay, just, just a straight up strength roll. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now you, you are transformed, which means you have an advantage on strength rolls, if I oh. recall. I do. That's even better, 23! 23. <laughs> you rolled a natural 19, Ooh. plus two, 21. Oh! So it's like on the ground, <laughs> right as you kind of clamber up <laughs> onto the ship, it's like <laughs> getting up, it sees you, and it goes and like grabs its crossbow and tries to start getting up as you get your claws onto it and just there's a, a brief tug of it for you, <laughs> tear it free from its grasp. <laughs> can I, uh, can I, Toss it into the waters over the ship. Yeah. I uh, just <laughs> sploosh. It hits the water, and the water where it splashes through kind of like freezes up for a second Ooh. before it begins to rapidly melt. Ooh. Uh, with my bonus action, can I use Blood Curse of Bloated Agony on the guy that uh, Orm is fighting? Yeah, sure. Uh, and that's uh, the challenge is they don't have blood. Oh. Oh, Joe. Yeah. Bloat. Oh, nope. Joe. But curses only affect creatures unless their constructs are undead. They're way higher level. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a higher yep, level thing when you can you can blood the amplify? unbloodable. If you amplify it, or use your own blood to channel it. Uh, yeah, I'll 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 scrape my body and I'll amplify it. Which I've never done before. Scrape that body. For six for me. points. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's a rough myself. one. Uh, and it'll last for one. It'll last last for one minute. All right. And that'll give him a disadvantage on strength and dex checks with right. you or M. Dex okay. checks. <laughs> strength dex and dex checks, and one d8 if he makes more than one. Of well, but dex not checks every throws checks. checks. But strength checks was what he was doing for the show. Yeah, so that's an example yeah. of like that. Yes. Cool. Great. All righty. That finishes your go. All right, finishing Chitney's go. Lana, you're up. All right, um, I'm gonna get to the boat. Can I kind of go at an angle on, under him? 15, 20, 25, 30. Gets you there. You're swimming in the water. Am I able to quicken a spell and spider climb? Yeah, you can do and that. And then dash the rest of the way? Yeah, you can do that. I'll do that. <sighs> so you can there. 
Let's talk. What is it that you're wanting to discuss? Are we doing this now? Are we doing this now? Is this my, are we talking now? Do it. Okay. Do it. Peggy. Still looking harried. The little damsel in distressy. I grab him by his hand. And when taken as part of my form of dread, my rib cage opens a little. Oh, we're scared. And Hi. I take his hand and I put it inside of my chest. Oh. You're like me. Cursed like me. Roshan. Come on. Delilah. We can end it. Together. But you have to stop this now. Make a persuasion check. Ooh. Damn! Oh Want your oh. romance. <laughs> 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 come on, don't. Come on, come on, come on. I'm so yeah, nervous. Got, I'm got, so got, nervous. Got it's not good. It's not good, you guys. Eleven, uh, nine. Guidance. <laughs> <laughs> he withdraws his hand. <laughs> I chose this curse. The Strife Emperor gave me renewed fury. What is it? Strife Emperor? The Strife Emperor. The Strife Emperor. So, what else do you offer aside from? Returning what's mine and the lives of your compatriots. Wait, what was the first part? What Please else I... do you offer besides <laughs> returning what's his and the lives? That's gonna of finish our your turn. Uh, you spend the rest of your turn trying to understand what his. Little <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not bad day. No. It's now the captain's turn. Consonance, uh. please. The captain is still engaged in this conversation, so he'll spend his turn continuing the parlay. Oh, so, oh still in. get up, a get up, get up. Come on. Come on, fighter, well, what get else, back what else, do you have to offer? what else do you have to offer? What else? And he's like looking up at you, by the way. He's like a squat dwarf skeleton with the like burning oh. blue energy of the eyes, and it's just like, bullshit roll. All right. DD sucks. Oh, wait, are we still talking? Are we yeah. still talking? He's taking his turn to continue the parlay. Oh. He's taking his turn to continue the parlay. Oh my god. He's taking his turn to continue right. the parlay. He's taking oh his turn god. to continue the parlay. He's taking his turn. He's taking his turn. He's taking his turn. Um, it's getting very musical. For you. Okay. Follow me out of the crowd. Follow me. <laughs> I'm going to use silent image. Kirby doesn't need to make toys. <laughs> to make the compass again. And then <laughs> I want to do it. I want to do it. Sure. I'm willing to shift it again to look. I'm so sorry. To look like Chetney's possessed sword. It's a, it's a cursed sword. It's a cursed sword that talks to him. And so I figured it would go good with your whole aesthetic. <laughs> the captain pulls forth his saber from his sheath, which you can see as it hits the air, the moisture kind of like sh clings to it and creates kind of ice crystals along the blade and goes, What's so special about this cursed sword? Make another persuasion check. Okay, okay. <laughs> you should have given her the. Um, yes, the so I was going to, but then okay, I Okay, that's, that's a little bit better. <laughs> 18. 18. And what's your response to his question? I'm trying to remember what the fuck his sword does. I don't even know if you know it's cursed. It's got the soul of a king trapped in it. That's all. I know that. I, I think that's but, but that's been made that pretty plain. We all know that. It's got the soul yeah, of a king did. trapped inside of it. That's doesn't what doesn't matter know. what's true. All that matters what she says. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> 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 what is she looks even today, peeking inside of the dressing room. It imbues him. You're putting on makeup, you weren't getting dressed. I just want to specify. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should have seen it earlier when I was taking Inside a shit. Check. It was like. Hard to read. I just feel it was important to specify. 
I said it real bad out of context. The girls dress real. Anyway, back to the scene. <laughs> it abuses him with the strength of a hundred holy men. It can grant you radiant abilities, the same ones. Mm. That caused your men to flee. Show me this blade. That's gonna end his turn. Not bitch. Alrighty. That brings us to Imogen. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Mo. Okay. Uh I'm just gonna peek my head up out it, come out of the little hole. Okay. <laughs> How far am I within 120 feet of the ship? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like looking at it. At a glance, it could be. It's pretty close. Oh, so are they about to get up again? Yeah. Yeah. I'm coming out of the hole and I'm standing on the rock. Right. But if you walk, okay. you'll get closer. Um, would it take like an action to pick up the scarf, or is that something I can just do as I come up and out? Pick up the scarf. The scarf off the ground. Oh, the holy man? Yeah, would that take like an action or could I just. It's kind of an action, because like, it's like grabbing the lips and kind of like taking it and folding it up. All right. In that case, I'm just going to leave the hole on the ground. I'm going to come out and step down. All right. And I think once I'm down on this next level, that's 120 feet. Jeez whiz. Could be. Cheese whiz. <laughs> and can I get wings. a little closer there? Sure. To where I As feel you're kind of like down, I would you can be. Get about there would be your movement. Okay. I love cheese. Cheese? No, I do not love cheese whiz. I am going to twin spell. No, I like cheese. And I'm gonna double lance the the sniper and the dude fighting Orem. Okay, 120 feet. Dang, 120. That is 80. If I there, so they're both within range. Swiss! Wow. Mm -hmm. Pew pew. Pew! Okay. So that's saving throw on their end? Intelligence saving Intelligence throw? Intelligence saving throw. All right. <laughs> that's a fail. And, uh, ooh, that's pretty good, but that's still going to be a 17? 18. Fail. Yeah. So that is 7d6 psychic damage, ooh. and they both are incapacitated until their next, until the start of my next turn. That's ooh. great. Two. That's big. Um, one, two, hold on, let me find them. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, Whoa. that's way better. Uh, 12, 17, 19, 23, 26, 29 points of psychic damage to both of them. Both of those skeletons like and <gasps> crumple to the ground. Yes. Dead forever. Forever. Who's dead okay. forever? Both of them. Those skeletons who are the one that you the pulled the, the crossbow away from and threw it in the water, it just kind of like starts getting back up and. <laughs> you don't even see what happened. Miss those of you who <laughs> yeah, Those of you who are glancing over in the direction, you can see the air kind of between Imogen and the ship kind of ripples <laughs> rapidly. <Whoa. gasps> pop, pop. Does that finish your turn? Um. Like those. I can't use any more movement, can I? Uh, no, that's the, that was your movement to get down there, unfortunately. Okay, 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 then that's, yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay. Uh, that's what I'll do. Top of this turn, that one gets back up. But it's still incapacitated. So technically, it can, incapacitated means it, uh, hmm. It can't take any actions. It can't action. take any actions, but it can still get back up and move. Oh. And it's like, <laughs> And then kind of glance at you, see like it's it's blackened skeleton, kind of crackling, and you can see it's it's like the interior of it is almost like a molten bone. <laughs> um, it's not gonna move. Does that mean no reactions either. It can't do anything. Okay. Yep. Uh, so finishing that go. The rest of the crew. Keep running. Keep on running. Running back to the ship. Running back to the ship. 
then they're gonna run over the ship. This one here. Off the ship. Yeah. Are they swimming? They're swimming, right? They're swimming through. Those two just go running into the bushes over that way. You can't reach from here, it's fine. These two get back up and start climbing under the hole, and then clamber down. Uh-oh. Do they have they have half half their movement? Half their movement to get up and then they dash to get down, which means they can't do Didn't anything. They have to climb out of the hole. The hole yeah. is. So did you? Yeah, but I was hanging. Yeah, they weren't. Okay. It's not like a sheer wall. If you have things in there, they kind of just like leap up and climb their way up. But it used up a lot of their movement, which is why they had to get up to the top and then dash to even get to you. So they oh. don't even attack you. Okay. At all. I guess they're full round to even try and get to you. Great. Um, and this one gets up. Oh. And is immediately going to go after your FCG. Oh. But I'm a sweet. God damn it. Because uh, you are prone, yet has advantage. <laughs> Even with advantage, it's a 15 yep. on the first uh, attack. Oh, uh, that misses. That misses. The second one with advantage. Man, come on, come on, come on. That's better. Uh, 19. Hit. Alrighty. Hey, did I didn't use bonus though on my turn, right? That's true, you did not. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> Reset. That would be <laughs> five points of slashing damage and four cold. I'm down again! No, you're not. Yeah. Shit, you're shit together! You should have given me that well, fucking second level. Was he with the <laughs> it, would, it wouldn't have fucking when mattered. I ended oh, my yeah. turn. No, have, no, it would not have. Uh, yeah, your turn was, still would have okay. never come. It would have just hit you again. Okay. All right, because okay. this one would already. But I would you. still be alive right now. There you would be down because that fucker would be right on top of you. FCG? What, what fucker? About? The fucker? The one who just killed you again. I know yeah, he but he just did. did. I had eight points. He would have still been alive. They did nine points of damage. Yeah. FCG. I'm death save. Oh, here. death save! This is an important roll, guys. I. I'm gonna do oh, it. Oh, Jesus! I'm gonna do it. Why? With my special rolling <laughs> device. <laughs> that's been here the entire campaign. What's that smell that just came? <laughs> what? This has always tower. been a transformer. It's also a dice, dice tower. tower. What? Oh my god. Six. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's, just right. <laughs> that's just right. You don't so, those parts. Oh, yeah. Back to one failed save. Oh. Alrighty. Fern, you're up. <laughs> At the top I of your turn. I also forgot, I know it's too late now, but to know for next time, yeah. with my enhanced bond, when I do an extra D8 when Mister's out, I can also do it to restore hit points. So I could have done an extra D8. Well, good so, thing to know for the future. Yeah. Um, at the top of your turn, because you are uh, in the water and in the whirlpool, you do start feeling the freezing energy of the dark and ghost ships, uh, like dark, uh, cursed magic. Uh, you take 10 points of cold damage. But I'm re- I have my Fire shield. Which make it just five. Okay. Um, and you are your your movement is reduced even further. Uh, so it's considered a difficult terrain, but your speed is half, which means you can really only move like five feet this All turn. Right. So um, it's like <laughs> the water's just pulling you oh towards the center. No. Um, since I have Mister, I would like to. Can I use fiery teleportation? You can. All right. So I'm going to use fiery teleportation to 15 feet to try to get out of the whirlpool. Okay, so you both move five feet this way, probably. Um, then... I'm actually going to move to the side. All right. <clears throat> because I feel like I need Alrighty, to... Alrighty, so <laughs> burst of flame, and you both <laughs> appear 15 feet over to that side. Okay. Um, and I guess I wouldn't have known if FCG went down again. Oh yeah, because you're in a whirlpool of hatred. Oh, I don't know. Pop out. Mm-hmm. I see him. I see him laying down again. I was laying down when you went in. <laughs> Here, I'll tell you what. Make a perception check. Okay. It's not like my body goes. I'm feeling really guilty. That's why. Maybe it's facing. That's okay. We're all side. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. I'll say fifteen would have been the DC. I'm just kind of like glancing over and hearing the sound of FCG taking another hit, looking behind and seeing the other skeleton like clawing at him and hitting with a blade. I'll be swearing loudly too. All There'll right. be some loud swearing. Uh, so I will make my way over there, <laughs> back to FCG. I was so close to the ship. You don't have to heal me. I'll be uh, fine. Someone uh, else will heal me. All right. Asha can heal me. Yeah, then the thing's gonna get right the back fuck back up. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna pump him up with a second level cure wounds. Alrighty. 
um, and I get extra 3d8. Thirteen. Hey! Thirteen hit points, ceiling to UFCG. Does that finish your turn, Fern? That finishes my turn. Orem, you're up. <laughs> okay, um, you. I get advantage on this, anything I do to this character because it's unconscious, right? On the ground there? Yeah. That one is currently at zero hit points. I know that, but I've seen these things get back up, yeah. so I want to do something to it. Okay. Okay, so I want to make a pushing attack. I want to jam my blade into the deck and then uh, Jackrabbit kick it towards uh, that side of the ship with this a pushing side? attack. Okay, yeah. I'll reroll the one. Uh, that is a tw uh, 21 is the higher. 21. Uh, it auto fails, auto so fails. like sh get shoved to there. 15 feet. 15 feet? I think that's off the ship. Yes! Oof. That's the thing with fleas. Really fucking strong legs. And then I'll turn <laughs> and uh, approach the other one. I'll get right next to Chet, actually. Right next to Chet? Yep. Alrighty. And uh, I'll just attack. That is a 15 to hit. 15 just hits. Just yeah. hits, pushing attack. Strength save, 17. Uh, natural 19, I keep getting, uh, I keep getting no. natural 19. It's incapacitated. It's incapacitated. Uh, yeah, you're right. So I'll say that. Uh, well, he can't take any actions, but I think it still gets saves against things. Mm. It doesn't auto fail saves, I don't think. I'll double check. Okay. I'll double check. Regardless, it takes 17 points of damage. Understood. Can't take here. actions or reactions. Correct. So, yeah, I can still save. Okay. That. So that's fine. Okay. So, anyway, all that being said. So, yeah, anyway, uh, that was a natural 19. Okay, so it's still on the ship, but I hit it for 17 points of Correct. damage. Which okay. knocks it back down to zero for another six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so finish your turn? Yeah, my open. Tap. Alrighty, Ashton, you're up. <sighs> you think you can handle this? Yeah, go. Okay, I'm going to uh, hit that tiny little motherfucker. Uh, Alrighty. That's sitting there, and I'm going to do a reckless attack because that's fun. Uh, for uh, 29 to hit. Your minimal damage knocks him out. Okay. <laughs> he's down. He's down. <laughs> like like you could roll the worst you can possibly roll, and he's. I'm going to go get our shit. Um, I'm going to teleport 60 feet uh, over there to just behind uh, just behind those two skeletons right there. Uh, am I within striking distance? Of the one right there, yeah. And now I'm going to use that second hit on that piece of shit. You got it. Uh, the one on the right, that's 25 to hit. 25 uh, to hit, minimum damage. Uh, <laughs> I'm also going to use my push to push him five feet to the, to the left. Kind of crumples in the middle yep. there. You got it. And then uh, I'm going to... You're fine. I'm gonna hop up and <laughs> and get ready in my next turn to fine. grab the. Right. <laughs> Over the edge. Actually, ah! right there. These fucking skeletons are a pain in the ass. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah, that's Same fine. Ghost ships. I don't even have to run. Ass. I actually, I end up just teleporting. I'm, I'm just gonna teleport <laughs> right next to it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Fuck. Like, All right. Us one week earlier. Gosh. This would be so cool. Gosh. Finishing your yeah. turn. <laughs> All right. Climbing up the side of the boat. Oh, this so fast! Wow, that was so up. fast. Their, their turn. Their turn was next, but getting up and climbing the side of the boat and getting to the edge uh, gets them their movement, and then to their action is going to rush forward towards you as a dash and just get there and be like, Captain, what's the plan? And they're going to look back at the captain and the captain kind of puts their hand up like this, still looking at Laudna. Um, was that a dash? Is it an action? Yeah. Uh, their action was their dash. It was movement and then dash. So they don't. But then they can't do it because they're incapacitated. The the until your turn. No. Yeah, way. until my turn. There. Oh, until your next turn. Yeah. Yeah. So can't even get there. Then you're right. Fuck Most of that guy. That's a that's a monster. All right. It's that's really awesome. good. Yeah. It's Thank awesome. you for the reminder. All righty. Finishing there. Go Chetney. Then Lotna. Uh, I will uh make 
Make my way uh, towards Laudna and the captain, and I will uh, unsheathe Grazchaw, the luminary bra- blade. Okay. You pull it free, and it gleams here from the fog that surrounds it. It gives off its own kind of faint, radiant glow. And in the back of your mind, you hear, Old friend, here you draw me forth. Together, you will return to that insidious place in the mountain and destroy the first of many enemies of freedom. Not yet. First, we kill ghost pirates. And I'll uh, I'll come up behind Ladna and just hold the so the dash up to there. Yeah, and hold okay. the blade out, and I'll say, uh, I beg you to reconsider. If you want your compass, we ask, but a simple journey across the seas, Buck. <laughs> <laughs> just give him a little wink. Told you. All right, so that finishes your turn. Yeah. Um. Because he isn't kind of listening. Make a persuasion check on your point as well. Yeah, Does it get an advantage? No, because. Okay. Unfortunately, no. But the DC isn't super high. <laughs> huh? 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 I mean, I did cast Enhanced Ability on and, but, oh, you, yeah, 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 but you yeah, fell yeah, unconscious yeah, yeah. and That's lost true. your concentration. That's true. Uh, uh, natural 17. <laughs> 17. Kind of looks at you, looks at the blade you're holding. You're holding it like a threatening way, kind of. And he's kind of looking at it like someone who's, who's enjoying their walk through an antique shop. And glances back over at you, uh, finishing your turn. A lot of nights here. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're asking for passage in trade. You all live. You give me my combos and this fine weapon. <laughs> uh, I just kind of go sorry. What do you mean sorry? <laughs> Compass first. The sword upon arrival. I've made clear the deal specifications. We end this now, or you all die. You know a girl has to have collateral. Am I really supposed to trust a bunch of pirates? Make one final person. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Lad. Guidance, guidance, guidance. <laughs> <laughs> now, because of your success, the DC is. Bring it over here. I'll set it. I'll set it at a fifteen DC. Oh Oh jeez. Fifteen or higher. Girl. No. No. Oh my god. Oh, it was on the. No. And you have a lot of modifiers. No. Add those modifiers. Ten. Ten. Uh, collateral doesn't sound right to me. The blade, no. The compass after. Or I tell them to set loose. I look at Chetney. <laughs> that, that, that. I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll flip I'll flip the bit blade so I catch the the blade. I don't say anything about that yet. Yet. What are you doing? We, <laughs> <laughs> we are bonded, you and I. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Your we'll whole destiny before you. We'll see each other again. Time cannot separate us. Death is but a door. <laughs> The captain grasps the handle of the blade and holds it up. Oh, come on. Accept it. And as he bows his head, he closes his hand. All the skeletons that have, been, that have been running away continue to run up onto the ship. The skeletons that are getting back up off the ground kind of stop and snap up into their spaces and kind of look back, no longer aggressive in their stance. The ones that are across the way that can like reform and eventually begin to return, but they're all just kind of 
casually walking now as the captain kind of gives out a horrible, ghostly, echoing whistle. And they all begin to slowly return to the ship. I swear to God. And that's where we'll go to break. Oh, oh, so we'll come back here in a few minutes and see uh, see how the rest of this conversation goes. <laughs> that was awesome. It is time. Time to wake up to a new reality. To a blank canvas that I have painted in with warmth and peace. In my new era, the choice is yours. Whether to live in quiet serenity or bloody strife. To dwell in joyous prosperity. Or bitter rivalry. You can face each other. As sworn enemies. Or united as brothers. But a storm is brewing. And soon you will discover that even in this new era, one constant remains. There is always something worth fighting for. You have chosen to defy peace. Then you have chosen war with a god. My queen is dead. As the bell tolls for her majesty, her succession looms in uncertainty. For with her dying breath, the queen invoked an ancient and deadly contest, compelling the princesses of Twelvefold to meet in secret and battle one another, until the stroke of midnight reveals the victor, the new Midnight Queen. Erdine. The Gilded Champion. Dr. Lux, the Scholar Supreme. Rosalind, the Oneromancer. Freya, Blood of the Tower. Hephaesta, the Lightbreaker. And then there's me, Boss No, the fairest of them all. Who will survive? Who will you choose? Who will be Queen by Midnight? Hey, Critters! 
Warriors, Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role shop. Could anything be more perfect? I mean, the Traveler always says impulse purchases are a good decision. Look at this. Isn't it fashion? So much fashion happening here. Style should never be a dumb stud, darling. You need this? You probably need this. Could anything be more perfect? It's the little things in life. This is seriously magical. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now. Those that rise from the trenches, only to boldly dive into the catacombs of the Fairlands are few and far between. Any investigator, be they soldier or civilian, will eventually find themselves forced to abandon what is right for what must be done. The scars of war are deep and timeless. Those who survive must balance on a delicate thread of ever-fraying purpose. For to stare too deeply into the chasm of the past is to see nothing but a reflection of terror. When retribution crawls from the darkness, our inner fortitude is put to the test. The Circle of Needle and Thread. Assignment number 533. Eye for an Eye. the moment where we last saw it. Well, that's not quite true. It's a few hours later. Stationary Hill is not looking so hot at the moment. Garbage everywhere. Flyers for the big sale of midst strewn upon the streets. Doors open, broken boxes, crates, carts. Abacuses, welcome to the trust pamphlets. It would be a nice place if it weren't for the colossally vast, quietly howling and increasingly close, vast, terrifying, reality gnawing tsunami of black fog ocean inbound rapidly. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. It is a spectacularly terrifying scene. Listening to this, it may not seem particularly terrifying, but with the power of your imagination, you, too, can become very upset. With our help.
Critters, it's me, Marisha Ray. I had exactly a minute and a half of free time today, so I thought I'd make a little unboxing video for y'all, unpacking everything you get with a Twitch subscription to Critical Role. Ooh. Okay. Safety third. <laughs> the fuck was that? Oh. So the first thing we've got here is our live and professionally moderated chat. Uh, Twitch is the only place that you can actually get this. You know, it's a little strange to hold because it's an amorphous concept, but um, honestly, you can't deny this craftsmanship. It's really well made and, oh, oh, you can post links in this too. That's really cool. So yeah, put that in your chat and click it. Oh yeah, this is cool. This is the ability to watch all of Critical Role's VODs immediately after the live broadcast ends and before they're uploaded to YouTube. Oh, it smells like ranch? Oh wait, oh no, that's, that's me. <laughs> I had ranch on my salad earlier. Yeah, this smells like nothing. Oh, oh, here we have <laughs> gift subscriptions, which you can, uh, Either give to a fellow critter by name or at random using a fancy Twitch algorithm. You can give away a lot of subs with this, which um, I guess it's why it's so heavy for something that's technically non-tangible with a value that's deeply subjective to the consumer. Oh, sick. Yeah, I'm so excited to show you all this part. With the Twitch subscription to Critical Role, you can use all of our incredible custom emotes in chat. We have so many emotes in here. Let's see, we have... Uh, Oh, Art Dad, super cool. Yeah, we got Ashley Hype, fun one. Oh, look at Shrink it here, he's so like, oh, oh God, oh God. Uh, 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 Broom, Broom, hang on, I can fix this. I can fix this, I'm fixing it, Jerry! Oh God, okay, I'm sorry, Trinket. Yeah, that'll work. I need more glue, this is not gonna be enough. Don't tell Rachel, okay? Okay, please, nobody. Uh, Shakira, will you cut this, this, all this out? Welcome back. As you all look around, the mist still gathering at the base of the cold front that is the ghost ship itself, the Crimson Abyss sitting here beachside as the rest of the skeletal crew slowly gathers to clamber back on board. The captain still holds the hand out, gathering the crew. What are the rest of you doing? 
I'm gathering. I'm... I just waved to everybody from the boat. We're friends now. We're going to go for a little ride. Oh, see, everything's fine. That's great. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Uh, I was snippy with you, and I was uncalled for. No, no, no. I was just. Yes. Uh, I you was... saved my life twice. Well, thank you. You're welcome. I, you you have this thing here in this realm called guilt, and I really felt it. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Wait, do they not have that in the Fey realm? Maybe I just never really felt it before, but I feel it really strongly here for some reason. I'm sorry. Yeah, it sucks. Because yeah. <laughs> you'd like make a, a decision to do something, and then you like feel bad in here. There are consequences. Yeah. yeah. Consequences. Yeah. Consequences. Yeah. consequences. Uh... Anyway, get, get on your wheel. Let's go. Okay. Can you swim? I don't know. I have a propeller attachment. I'll use it as a motorboat. <laughs> I thought you pulled it. Plus those little it. wooden flat feet. It'd be like flippers. <laughs> sure. That's a good combo. Valid. Uh, put a water roll and, and the boots. Oh and steamboat. Yeah. You all manage to climb back on board as the crew begins to right itself, gather their materials, weapons recovered. Um, the sniper that had been uh, knocked to the ground and had its uh, crossbow taken, its crossbow was retrieved by one of the other crew members as they came around board and hand it to her. And you, the way they hand it to her, you can see that this, um, this female kind of smoldering skeleton holds some station within the crew. Um, you can also, now that you're up close and personal, you can see that there's like the blue flame flickering in one socket, the other is just dark and vacant. Mm. Um, the sniper, that is? The sniper, yeah. yeah. Uh, the human one with like the bush of black hair that was kind of had the shrill scream that you were combating with the while um, begins to shout out commands to the rest of the crew. Gather up! We're shoving off! Begins to like put their finger in the air as the captain kind of still looks at the blade and kind of like makeshift belt loops it around the side and now casts both saber, like the saber at one side and the massive sword at the other, which almost like drags across the deck of the ship looks over and addresses the rest of you, kind of awaiting for you all to gather up towards the top of the, the deck, the poop deck, if you will, uh, where it wants to address. So, <laughs> who are you and where are you going? Oh, um, well, you see, we're Bell's Hells. And we're sort of, you know, we're like pirates ourselves, you know. Right. Yes, we've stolen. We've we've stolen uh, crawlers, and we've stolen airships. We were actually gifted an airship, but we 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 we, we, we crashed the shit out of it. We crashed it. Exactly into the face of one of our enemies. Yeah, right in the face. Yes. So you know. Mm-hmm. I'm Captain Novos. This is my vessel. This, and they address over to the kind of second in command. It says, "This is first mate Wilders." Wilders. 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 Points to the smoldering skeleton. That's our navigator, Cerulea. And the first mate, Wilders, speaks. And this is the rest of our crew. Jamal, Odo, Peters, Bruder, Vandalo, the Witch Twins, Carmilla, Sanjay, and... <laughs> Keith? And the one skeleton back goes, I've been with you for a hundred years! <laughs> it's Kyle! <laughs> is that the little guy? Yeah. Oh, Kyle. <laughs> What kind of vibe or uh, attention are we getting from the crew, by the way? A bunch of like, kind of slightly impatient skeletons are just kind of curled around. They're not aggressive at the moment. They seem to be very much tethered to the energy of the captain, and you get the sense that the captain is kind of the central point of power that tethers the entirety of this crew and the ship's existence. Mm. So, 
they they seem to almost be in a an idle kind of holding pattern until the captain gives some sort of directive or through the first mate insinuates an, an interest. We're uh, looking for passage across these waters beyond the Vermilion Reef to the island of Kalutha. <sighs> Still? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't trust these motherfuckers. <laughs> They're real stabby. Kalutha. That can be done. Well, a deal is made. Where's the rest of it? I. I thought you said we were going to deliver us first, and then you get your compass. Blade first. Oh. Oh, I thought he already gave you the blade. And then compass after. That's what you said. Hey. Fire <laughs> <laughs> negotiations. After best. we, after get, we there? get there. No. Oh, no. after the blade. Hi. <laughs> oh, that's. That's, mm, <laughs> that's not fair. That's semantics. You also know that I'm bound by my word. Oh. Wait, how do I, how, how do I know that? Kind of looks you up and down. Maybe you haven't done the true research then. Mm. Well, you're welcome to step off the boat. Yeah, I'll take like both. True research. Mm. Honestly, we sort of, we didn't really do any research. We just heard about you from another woman and went like, that sounds great. And then. You're bound by your word? Mystically? Magically? But well, when a deal is made. What, what, what would happen if you. Hi. What would happen if you break it? I don't. I know, but I'm just saying, like, if for instance, you say you're going to do something and then you don't do it, do you, do you die more? <laughs> I do. And the eyes kind of. Do we? Do well, how do we? we? I have pretty good insight. Am I? Am I? Yeah. Am I? Make an insight check. Okay. Do we, do we think do he's we, telling the truth? Telling the truth. Inside twenty-one. I get a whisper. Someone else plug something. Whiz, kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You guys, check out. The Mortal Kombat one shot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, okay. Chapter Two, Candela. Candela. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can do all these cheese whiz. It's pretty good. Mouth right next to your ear is so nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so warm. Like ASMR. You get that every night. Are you? Is this unlocking something? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you like whispers? <gasps> <laughs> oh, shiver me timbers. <laughs> No ASMR this is the beginning of our thruple. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Sam, Sam's been rolling insight a lot this episode. Like, <laughs> I don't need redheads. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God, Samuel. I will take that as a compliment to Q. <laughs> so, either I get the rest of the deal we made, and we're all on our way. Or we'll leave you here and take what's ours anyway. We can trust him. At least on this part. Okay, well, I just want to say, I feel like you duped me a little bit with like trying to swap the order and sort of just saying words when Clearly, my interpretation was like, I will give you a sword and then we'll get there, and then you get the compass. But. You just want him to note that you're upset? Yes! Okay. <laughs> Consider it a hard lesson about parlaying on the sea. Feels more like a hard lesson just about like you, but that's fair. At least shake on it. Ooh. 
watch the bony fingers curl around your bony fingers. <laughs> Cold, clammy flesh meets somewhat damp, bone frozen on. bone. <laughs> bone on bone. Kind of like holds there for a second. The, the fire is bone on bone. <laughs> the rest of you hear like squeaking, almost like Tendons. like like cold metal pushing against concrete. It's. <laughs> <laughs> no. My eyes flare a little as well, Ooh, just to meet it. Give me me compass. I pull on close to me. <laughs> I'm fine. Jenny! <laughs> 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 uh, uh, okay, okay. Oh, no. I take out, I take out the compass. Uh, wait, where's the white rod? Where's my replica? What oh, thanks? It's pretty good, don't you think? You sure you don't want? The validation. The kind of dark, smoldering skeleton is walking behind and like snatches the wooden one from your hand and goes. Uh, uh. Looking at it with the one like burning blue eye, and goes, "It's made quite well." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The craftsmanship is second to none. <laughs> Your first oh, I, I take it as a prize. Oh, excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. That, was, that wasn't part of the I didn't deal. Say it, They're so pirates. That's it's what they practically do. Practically worthless. <laughs> we still parked, by the way. Uh, at the moment, yeah, still parked. Okay. How did you um, lose your? Pass. <laughs> Captain folds his arms. <laughs> we were, um. We were known in these parts for being successful at our privateering business. The downside is you tend to make a few enemies. And when all your enemies become friends, Sometimes it doesn't end well. But we decided maybe we weren't done. So here we are. And we've almost found them all. What happens when you find them all? I guess we'll find out. What else are you missing, treasure wise? Money's not too bad. And you can see like your close up, like the, the bony grin of the captain. It looks like it's a pale gray bone, but upon closer glance, you can see that they're like platinum coated teeth on the inside of this like black and you know, kind of just old withered bone grins. That's cool. Nice. It's a platinum grill. That's yeah, basically. Sick. The money, not so much, but there are things that are personal to me. Items, keepsakes, trophies, and my navigation tools are quite a collection. I agree. If you ever wanted to trade up in terms of craftsmanship, no, just you could you could let me know. Grabs it, and as as he pulls it away from you, you can feel like this audible, like a. a a sigh of joy across the entire crew and the captain. This. <sighs> yep. This yep. Is so, so fresh in my head. <laughs> <laughs> we literally could have done this 20 minutes before without beating the entire crew into the fucking water five times. That's, that's fine. That's right. it's fine. It took me like three minutes to walk to the damn boat. <laughs> Welcome to the Crimson Abyss. Find what quarters aren't taken. You've got three days' travel to your island. Three days? On a ghost ship? Right. Holy shit. Is, is there a. Um, guarantee do we have that oh. y'all aren't going to attack us as soon as we make land? My word. Is there any. um? Not for me, but is there any like food and water on this ship for my friends here? Oh yeah, we 
We have a ghost chef with a bunch of ghost rules and ghost mites. No, we don't have food. <laughs> we're fucking dead. We have we have stuff in the in the hole. So we, we're all right. And whatever yeah. you're cooking, you can bake. I, can, I can bake a little. Yeah, have some stuff. fish. Oh, we can yeah, go fishing. Can, yeah. Do you guys have fishing rods and and bait? Mm. No. Okay. Nets, perhaps, or mm. something no. to troll the. Mm. All right. But, no, I think this, we could probably find a way to catch some fish. Standing this close to him, can I use my hunter's bane to just get like a closer look at like besides the eyes, any areas that are like radiating any significance in his existence? Sure. Go ahead and uh, I'd say roll investigation or insight. Your choice. I'll do investigation. You have advantage on this because of your hunter's bane. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen. Within what bit of the coat you can see, there's that that fierce kind of burning blue light in each eye. Um, tends to like the flare with points that he's making as he speaks. You see uh, within the shadow of the chest, uh, glancing inside, there's a dull blue glow in the rib cage. Um, that kind of almost pulses, not like a heartbeat, because it's too slow. But you, it looks like there's metal in there too. Um, it looks like there is, like, almost like chains that are wrapped around this weird source of light within the chest. Very cool. <clears throat> the end of the ship itself appears to be like a an old, ancient wooden ship. Is there anything unnatural about? So the ship itself, the wood looks weathered. It looks like this boat would not be seaworthy. You can see holes in the hull. Um, mm. There is like an odd, pale, like moss and mold that's grown in places that kind of like seeps into every corner of where the wood meets metal. Um, there's the damage that you dealt to the uh, the deck of the ship. Looks like it's repaired itself slightly, but even the repairs bring it to a state of just kind of decent. <laughs> disrepair. Um, the sails themselves seem to just blow with the wind and don't help, but the ship seems to have a will and a thrust of its own. Mm -hmm. And as now you've made the deal, the ship begins to pull away from the island of Slaval, and you can see the mist that billows out in front of it, obscuring the path before you, and yet the one um, that was introduced to you is the navigator Cerilia. The sniper with the one burning eye has clambered back up to one of the crow's nests and produces what looks to be uh, a spyglass, but seems to look into the mist like it has no obscuration. And as the ship begins to push in outwards to the ocean and take you on the first leg of your journey, um, the rest of the crew begins to go about their business back under deck. The captain stands, looking over the edge, kind of taking the seven of you in for a bit. Not gonna lie, maybe it'll be nice to have some new blood, or really, and even any blood on the ship for a bit. Make friends, stay comfy, nap if you want to. Do you, do you would, 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 would. If we're gonna be here for a couple of days, do you, do you need any repairs on the ship? I mean, should we spruce this place up, make it look homey or colorful? We like it how it is. What mm. What will you get out of this? What, is that what you we said? We like it, it, how it, how it is. Oh, how it is. Oh, okay. Is you there, all are from around here. You know, is there anywhere? <laughs> it's so thick. Is there anywhere? <laughs> yeah. Is there anywhere we're supposed to not supposed to go, or do we have free reign to walk the? The levels of the boat, Captain. You can walk where you want on the level right below deck. My quarters are off limits. Where are your quarters? Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. I am just already. Oh. Calm down, calm down. I'm just getting the lay of the boat, lay of the land. Uh, the only double doors on the ship. Say again. 
They're the, the only, doors. only double doors. Only only shit. Double doors Three shit. days of asking him what he said. <laughs> I know, over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> Enunciation <laughs> is largely about the tongue and lips, yeah. and they're gone. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yep. So yep. he's just like, he's mostly just skeleton. Yeah. yeah, in fact, most of the crew is pretty much straight <laughs> skeletal no, with no, like no, with no, little no, shreds no, of like, no, no, like no, no, Wispy dried skin in some places and hair that's kind of tattered and dangling. I know. When. Take yourself home to her heart. That one. <laughs> when did when did you 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 pass? Like for real? Yeah. Decades ago. Who can keep count? It's been more fun since I have. So you truly do love for this life of undeath? For now. You know, variety is the spice of life. And one day, maybe we'll get bored of it. Maybe by the time we find everything that's ours. And now that you have your compass, where does it point to? That wasn't that part of our deal. Oh, what's wrong, you scared? No, I'm just private. <laughs> I can't believe no one's actually said this. Do you know what the fuck is going on out there, by the way, with other, everywhere right now? Have you, have you noticed any of the crazy fucking shit that's going on? Has it affected your shit, what's going on right now? I have no idea what you're talking about. Holy shit. Well, you mentioned that you're Bound to the strife, Emperor? Hey. Dad. Who is uh, yes, who is that? Is he. Is he a god? So we'll call him a god. He's, um. Kind of a guiding persona in the Pantheon for those who like to, um. Get what they want, take what they want. Thematic. Been a little distant lately. Do we know who that is? Yes. Do, yeah, do we know? Do any of us know Strife? Strife Empire? Or make a make a uh, religion check if you'd like. How do I have a negative one to religion? I mean, you just discovered it. <laughs> That's like, true. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, you go. Twenty-one. Fifteen. Fifteen. It's fair. Strife Emperor is definitely one of the betrayer gods in the pantheon. Um, they are largely uh, a god of tyranny. Of conquest, um, they are. They would sit in the realm of lawful evil. They 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 believe in um, you know, structure through domination. Those that are in power are there because they deserve it or have earned it by showing their strength. And those who should be bent to, or meant made to kneel before them. Um, that's kind of the gist of it. You're uncertain what the um, what the detailed influence in this realm is. You have very little personal experience or knowledge of the Shattered Teeth, um, but you get the sense in the way he talks about the Strife Emperor, it's less about reverie and you know worship and more like, hey, <laughs> if you go to pray to something in dark moments, let it be someone I can agree with. Well, that might not be uh, an issue for that long. All the gods are a bit um, under threat at the moment. I don't know if you've felt it. I've been a bit busy. Fun. You bound to these waters around the islands? Don't know. Yeah. That's, That's what you're going to get out of all your objects, huh? Freedom? Maybe. What happens if your god disappears? I don't know. Well, that'll be an interesting day. You know what we're good at is finding things. Got quite the nose on us, some of us do. So if you have any of these other missing items that, I don't know, are on land, we could be persuaded to perhaps sniff them out. I'm not getting your sword back. Don't cut me off with the knees. <laughs> 
He's, he's right. We're really good at finding stuff. So am I. Obviously. Well, well we, we sort of helped. We used to call you. In the wall. We literally yeah. went like, bloop. To yeah, right, you I found you when you did. It was really fast. We were like, <laughs> right there. This box time was incredible. Was truly. How'd you get here so fast? It's part of the deal. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't fully understand it, but you know we're not going to question it. So. How many more pieces are left? Did you already cover this? We didn't say a number. He's private. Oh, you're private. <laughs> There's been enough questions for a bit. Mm. Nice to meet you, Bill's Hills. Make yourselves comfortable. If it gets a bit chilly, sorry. It's just how it is here. Anyway, I'm gonna go below dig. Take some time to contemplate. Yeah. He pulls the blade out and looks at it for a bit. I know, I know. Let's talk. Whoa! Whoa! I think Jenny. all of these were very good decisions. Are you okay <laughs> giving up that blade? Well, I mean, no? Sorry, I like, Jenny. I feel like we struck up a rapport. Um, wait, what? The, I just feel like we have struck up a rapport as a group, and so it was my duty, my right. duty to exchange something of great value for seemed, our shared goals. It seemed like you really liked that sword. Yes, it was a, yep. And That's you're a, not feeling anything strange in your body after giving it up? Like you're not hurt psychically or? I mean, I'm a little fucked up. I'm a little, oh, I can give you some healing. I'm a little weak, it's a little chilly. Okay. I don't know That's if you wanted to cook up some. I assume right short resting at this point. Uh, yeah, hope moment. So. Some of them are looking out, some, most of them are below deck, and okay. there's like three, uh, and the first mate and the navigator. It's really just how Captain's gone. It's really still up there. And captain's just, gone below deck. It's just right. the, the first mate and like three other crew members. And like, I'm sorry, with the captain gone, they're, they're like about their duties. And, yeah. Okay. Just a reminder, we also have the Reef Moss Balm. We have two of those. We have the Slick Shimmer Oil and the Vial of Cleansing Flame, which if you haven't looked at that, Holy shit. That's the one where it like gets rid of maladies or something? Kind of, but you gotta fuck yourself up to get rid of it. That's really cool. It's pretty dumb. And we have cool these item. weird motherfucking boots. Oh yeah, what do the boots do? Uh, I'll we don't know. go on your feet, I'm not sure. I don't know that I can identify them. We'll do them tomorrow? No, I mean, I don't know that I can. What do you mean? Huh? Well, huh? you've always been able to do huh? that. I know, but huh? You know, there's three attunement slots, <laughs> and I've got your staff attuned now. Why? Just unattuned to it. You don't need it right now. Okay, but what if we need to teleport somewhere or something? In the next three days? What if the, all these pirates attack us? And... Well, shit's weird here in Shattered Teeth. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna be able to teleport. How long does it take to zero in? Like an hour I or guess so? I can just attune and attune. We got nothing else yeah. to do okay, on this I'll, boat. I'll switch attunement and I Famous will identify that thing. Okay. I love it. Oh, 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 we've been waiting! What is it, Tom? I've been waiting. That's, they're just boots of speed. Just boots of speed. Bonus, speed. bonus action, click those boots. Liam knows this uh, oh, quite well. Boots of speed. They're not boots of haste. No. Oh, boots, boots of speed. speed. You can use a bonus action to click your boots together. If you do the boots, double your walking speed. Oh, wow. oh, oh. And any creature that makes an opportunity to attack it against you has disadvantage. If you click your heels together again, you end this effect when the boots property has been used for 10 minutes. That's it for the day. 10 I mean, minutes, you can double your speed. To somebody that does not have a good distance. Uh, it requires attunement. I'm good. I mean, Ashton like needs to get up close and personal in battle, I right? love, I, oh man, you I don't know if you saw that last one. He though. was fucking hot scum. I know, you, you're, you're, <laughs> you're able to jump you around. With that, he would be like, all all over the And place. sometimes I, oh, sometimes. oh, there are terrible things I could do with that. What about you? What about a speed wolf? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's speed wolf's not a bad idea. I only got 35 feet. That's fair. His legs are the shortest of all. Misty step or anything? Nope. What about you? You can fly and stuff, can't you? Got our leap. I can do anything I want. I I have a 35 walking speed. I'm, 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 I think somebody else. An Orm, no, not you? that life. Yeah, he's fast. He's fast. I love my flea boots. I'm very partial to them. I don't. I. And I just lost two. my third 
Oh. Bye, grass char. Ashton. I mean, don't give up. Chitney. I mean, <laughs> every day. Help us figure wanna, that problem uh, out. Rollies yeah. for it, arm wrestling? Wanna, wanna rollies for it? Sure. Oh, it. shit. This is a high stakes rollies. This is a high stakes rollies. Best two out of three? Or yeah, a single roll? Bed. Oh, yeah, two out of three. Two, two, out of three. Out of two at the yeah. same time, or? Two out of three. No, no, no. Single, 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 What's the hammer mean? Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. What a dick. All I right, love it. All right. Wow. 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 I know what I beat. I know what I beat. Um, <laughs> we find more I'll just sit over here with my <laughs> walker. <laughs> well, hey, you're just bleeding everywhere because of the blood. I know. <laughs> Chetney, Chetney, do you want the staff of Dark Odyssey? Then you can control our teleporting, and it also gives you Misty Step. Ooh. But don't you need like arcane <laughs> to use it? I don't know. It just says by oh attunement by spellcaster. Are you, you a spellcaster? Cast spell? You can't mm, not a spellcaster. Not a spellcaster. Uh. Though. I just have some touch stuff and minor illusion. Oh my god, this is the this is dark. Thanks. <laughs> I am so sorry that I'm taking these. I'm if we find make another some object. Rollerblades, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Wooden rollerblades. <laughs> <laughs> this is mean. This is like it's this is this is Vax mean. Uh, yeah, no. Hmm? This poor little old man. You should help the poor. Little man. Give me your hammer, Ashton. <laughs> I don't know what other. Sh Actually, I'll tell you what other well, shit you got. Well, yeah. What are you unattuning to now? Nothing. Gosh, I got a. Uh, I got a free you slot. You had a free oh, slot. Free slot? Yes. Oh my god. He's got the rod, slots. but that's not attunement. What if you each wear one boot? <laughs> <laughs> I like and then you so we can really them together. <laughs> and then you have to. I'm yeah. good. I'm good. I got a butcher's bib. I got a scythe, and I got a. Uh, I got a ring of you know, don't die. I'm good. A ring of don't die. Yeah, temporal salvation. Really? Yeah, it's from. Uh, 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 my ex gave it to me. Oh, I thought you were more of a gambling man. That surprises me. Nah, now we see what this thing does. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, if you, if, depending on what you wanted to unattune, we could have a conversation about this. I mean, I have a scythe, the butcher's bib, or the ring of temporal salvation. I'm gonna look these things up. We'll have a conversation. Okay, okay. And as we have stated, you know, we have three days, so maybe we can mm -hmm. get your. What did you say? You <laughs> stroked out a little there. No, <laughs> she's speaking the same oh, language as the cat. Wait, wait, wait. Put your lips back on, Lana. Put your lips back on. <laughs> And it's just a time that we had on. <laughs> footsteps, 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 footsteps. What time is it? Uh, I'd say travel for a bit here. It's like probably. So you stayed overnight. It's, it's fog like mid afternoon, no maybe. Fog it's hard to tell. But like to you get the sense it's like somewhere in the like early afternoon, maybe mid afternoon. Yeah, we stayed overnight. We talked to it. Person in a toad. And it doesn't feel like the uh, marine layer or the haze isn't caused by the ship or interacting with the ship. It's just moving it's through the haze. It's thicker around the ship. Yeah. So there's no way to tell where we are. You have. You're just at the whim of wow. the ship with no concept of what direction you're going or what's nearby. With you'll probably have maybe a 50 to 100 foot viewing radius around the ship. Does it go all the way up? Like, is it above the in the? Oh yeah, yeah. It's a tall mist. Peering over the side, remembering how fucking cold it was right by the ship. Is the water interacting strangely, or can we see any aquatic life, like under the the breaks in the water, or as the ship moves? Uh, yeah. As you kind of glance over, you can see in the water occasionally there are, there's sea life that kind of just kind of look down, pours through. Uh, though the sea life that's there, like, is avoiding the ship. Like the few things you see are like curving away from it. It doesn't it doesn't hold a lot of joy to those denizens of the ocean. Let's go. Cool. <laughs> oh, I love that noise. So. All right. Oh, are you gonna make a deal? You look like you're about to huh? make a deal. What were you gonna unattune? Take your pick. I'm an open market. Ring for the you want the ring? Yeah, it's the only thing that you got it. vaguely interests me. That bib is so fucking ugly. <laughs> it, re it really is. It's terrible. It's just disgusting. <gasps> I have nice clothes. Ashton, I'm so touched. I well, thanks to the ring, I can pull them off of your dead body eventually. So you know, <laughs> it's just a loan. Don't tell my bae. 
Never. Just gotta find you some wings now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a big play. Yeah, uh, where's a, uh, uh, yeah, so, uh, Cerulea is still up in the, up in the uh, crow's nest, right? Yeah, but you can climb if you want to address them. I may, I may climb. No, no. If yeah. you're gonna go talk to the navigator, maybe uh, get us a map or, or get some, look at their map and see if you can sort of remember. We don't have a map. Oh. They're ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, in general, they have nothing. They want nothing. They need nothing. It's I, I mean, like, they're ghosts. This is, I can't believe this is actually a real ship. I'm a little concerned that we're not falling through the floor. It is, isn't it? Mm. Maybe this is one of the items he got back. Mm. Ooh. Does anyone want to look in the dark and scary uh, inside? We're going to have to yeah, at some point. Um, kind of yeah. do. We should go see where the imp, if there's well, any we gotta imp sleep quarters. Somewhere, don't we? Right. Figure that out. Mm. It's probably gonna be colder below deck. What do you think? <laughs> it's only one way to find out. Let's come on, Imogen, come with me. Okay. All right. What are you doing? Uh, well, we're doing anything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up the. Uh, I was trying to remember the name of the ring really quickly. Uh, ring of temporal. Temporal. Salvation. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go up the crow's nest. You get so much shit from Abria. Okay. Awesome. Yep. You climb up the mast, <laughs> past the. Tattered sails to the kind of um, the upper level where Cerulea is currently kind of perched and glancing over, um, seeming like lost in thought, and then hearing you approach, they quickly kind of like <clears throat> spyglass out, looking off in the distance, almost like not paying you any mind. Hey. Tap the eyes. How'd you get yours? Coughed out. <laughs> Lose a bet. No, I was making a point. Oh. Was the point made? I don't need both to be the best navigator. Point fucking made. Mine was a window. I don't think there was really much of a point. It's a very interesting window. Looks like the window came with you. <laughs> Kinda did. Mm. Uh, you know, these things happen. You make do with what you're given. Yeah, I used to think that. And then one day, pretty recently, I, uh, I realized that I hadn't been given really very much. And uh, I thought about that and, I don't know, I got real angry. And I just don't know how to stop feeling that. Anger's good. It is. They make things happen. And you watch as the little veins of smoldering light in between the bones kind of flare for a second, and embers almost like burn off. And you get the sense now at this close proximity, this is the skeleton of a fire genasi. Mm. Oh. Yeah. This is all an anger trip, really. You ever feel, you ever feel robbed? Like you had a good thing and someone just took it from you. This kind of looks down towards the ship for a second and then covers quickly. I pretend I didn't see that. Oh, interesting. I had my first encounter with a god. Lucky you. Not really. Confirmed a lot of suspicions I had which is, I don't know. I used to think they just don't notice. And you know, there's just a layer of us that drop below the radar, and maybe that's true, but I got one to notice, and it didn't like me. So, 
I'm considering not liking them right back. Good. Fuck them. Oh, I plan to. And we can. Things are changing out there. Even the... Whatever creature that cursed this boat may not be long for this world. The Red Moon. <sighs> Something's gonna get released. No one knows what's gonna happen. You see, when you, you mention the Red Moon, and the navigator kind of gets this odd turn of the skull, like it's putting pieces together. Can anyone else see past this fog, or just you? Just me. So you're the only one who knows what the moon looks like right now. I haven't seen it in a long time. It's up there. You should look. That's why I'm worried. Wait, you can't see it right now? No. I haven't seen it in weeks. I haven't said anything. <sighs> Things are changing. And no one knows which side of the coin is going to land at this point. So, if I were you, and I only say this because I really have an affinity for people who have fucked up their eyes, I think about what you have and what it's worth, and is it worth anything? And then, I don't know. From the feeling I get, you've been here a long time. I don't really know if you actually know what real anger is. You don't know me. No. But I know being fucking angry. I start heading down. Okay. Oh, I learned a lot there. <laughs> For those of you going below deck, Indeed, the temperature drops dramatically as you go below deck. You're, I mean, your breath is already visible below. You're immediately like, it's cold. You're going to want to bundle up if you have the means of doing so to sleep here with any sort of comfort. Um, it feels like you're walking through a meat locker. Um, but as you go below deck, the first thing that catches you is the sound of a violin. It's so creepy, I love um, it. And as you kind of pass into this kind of open area, you can see there are some bunks set out in kind of a common area space. And you can see one of the skeleton crew it just kind of has a like a little fiddle that they're in the process of Jaunty. playing with. Just, just kind of a gentle, like, just kind of looking at it. It's a little off key, you know, like, like the, it's they're kind of tuning it as they go. Um, you see some of them are kind of sitting around and uh, con having a conversation, there's a table in the corner where it looks like a few are playing some games of chance, and you can see uh, on one of the one of the, the bunks is just a pile of bones. <laughs> like, <laughs> like one of them just took a nap and went. That's what you call it. He rolled a hundred on the D one. <laughs> <laughs> well, he went to sleep, so you know. Mm -hmm. You think we're gonna sleep down here, or? Yeah, it's really or fucking cold. Up top, where it's warmer? Maybe. Yeah, Maybe. We can, I mean, it doesn't, mm. seems like this boat can regenerate. Maybe we can still make a little fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if it's warmer in the hole by a few degrees. <laughs> it might be. It's interesting. <laughs> That's the, a bad the idea. It's space. Yes. Really true. <laughs> Uh-huh, yep. Holes are warm. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Cozy. <laughs> Comforting. Dark. Do they, Dark. the Snug. skeletons look like they're talking to each other at all? They're just kind of being a normal crew? Yeah, they're just being a normal crew. So they're having, I mean, one to walk in, like if you can kind of look over and kind of watch as you enter. And some of them are quiet, some of them kind of go back to playing their dice games at the table. Uh, seems kind of like normal crew. They're just a bunch of skeletons. Weird. In a frozen, you know, space internally, where like they have lanterns that kind of hang and sway, but even the light within them is like a pale white light as opposed to like a warm flame. Could I go over to one of them, just enjoy the music, and say, "Oh, you guys look like a, a tight knit crew. What does uh, what does the captain like? What are his passions?" <laughs> the fiddling stops. 
<laughs> most everyone kind of turns and looks to you in the silence. And uh, one of them you saw was pointed out as uh, Bruda. You can see is kind of like a, a, a feminine skeleton uh, and, and presentation with uh, like a, a, a jet black scarf that's tied around the, the skull. Um, and what looks to be like two gold rings that are embedded in the bone around where the oh, nose would be. Um, kind of leans forward. The captain is looking for his things. That's what he likes. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. I just uh, didn't know if he, I'd appreciate a thank you for the lift. <clears throat> but did uh, look, look, looking for his things. He likes manners, yeah. Manners? Good manners. Oh. Thank you for that information. <laughs> You're welcome. Where, where, uh, where are you all from? Because you have like a very thick. You all have the same. All over. Or? Kind of a. And they kind of look at each other, and another one and leans forward. We're a, a bit smart to our own time from <laughs> Wild Mountain. And, uh, some of this islands we sort of came together as a crew over time, but. Uh, yeah, well, some days it's hard to remember where we came from. Oh. What's the deal with the witch twins? What's uh, their story? <laughs> Look over the, the witch twins. And, uh, witch twins. The witch twins. No, wit, <laughs> wits. Oh, like, wits. wits? I thought it was witch. No, okay. No, no, the witch twins. Um, there are these two halfling skeletons that are currently in the process. There are like two of the, the four at the gaming table that have like. You can look at the table, and there's like there's gold coins, there's piles of teeth, um, there's like you know wooden, like almost like shaved dowels with letters burned into them. There's just kind of a collection of like buttons, just whatever sort of random things could be uh, used as ante for different games over and over and over again that don't really serve any monetary purpose beyond just going through the motions of what they did in life. Um, but the two was twins are these like nearly identical. Halfling skeletons that are both have one hand between the two of them of cards that kind of just glance are glancing over, kind of looking at the cards and then looking back and trying to listen in at the conversations and such. Don't y'all okay. ever get bored? There's like a stagnant pause and they all kind of look at each other. And there's like a resounding <laughs> unified no, 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 no. Oh. I mean, you, you're playing with buttons and pebbles. Seems a little unfair to not have at least a little coin the captain doesn't share. Now, kind of look at each other. <laughs> and they all start laughing at once. Uh, the the first one that you were talking to, uh, Bruda, goes, Oh, the captain shares. Hi. <gasps> The captain's very generous. What does he share? Whatever we take that's not part of his initial belongings. Like buttons? This is like almost like a frustrated kind of resignation to the response. And like a, a, an immediate kind of wave of disinterest comes over them. Look. We're not used to having guests. So, I apologize if we're a little awkward. No, 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 this is good. Yeah, this is very this is great. great. We're yeah. always a little awkward. We don't mean we to sound judgmental. I think this is great. You guys have a little life down here. It's our first I'm, time on a ghost ship. Yeah. Yeah. We've killed a lot of people. Oh, boy, yeah. Hard to make friends. Are there yeah. other ghost ships on the on the high seas or yeah, any natural enemies you might have? Oh, yeah, or do do sea beasts attack yeah, you ever? Because we will too. fuck them up. We will throw down. Sea beasts don't bother us, and we've not met another ghost ship, though I've heard tales that they're out there. Maybe we maybe we could. Another, another one sets up that he's always pointed out to Jamal earlier and goes, I'd like to meet others, that'd be fun. 
Yeah, it must be so lonely. Is that Kyle? <laughs> That's Jamal. Oh, God. <laughs> Jamal or Schmal? Jamal. 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 Did you say Jamal, Jamal or Schmal? <laughs> this is the Schmal skeleton. <laughs> Snap out of it. Right. Uh, Orm's inched his way over to the violinist. It's really good. Uh, this is the skeleton who's introduced to Sanjay. Sanjay. Uh, who um, has human or elven features, or perhaps half elven, hard to tell. But. Uh, just a, a, a bleached white skull that you can see has etchings around where like where the features might be. It looks cool. like beautiful, like almost like a like a henna carve, mm -hmm. like a carving into the the skull in places that kind of decorate it, and uh, has what looks to be like a, a piece of straw that kind of hangs out of the mouth that kind of is bent in the middle, and kind of hangs, and it's just kind of like tuning the violin. Did you play when you were alive? That's true. Mm. Do you take requests? I've never taken a request ever. <coughs> First time. What are you requesting? Uh, have you ever heard of Scanlon Short Hall? Who hasn't heard of Scanlon Short Hall? <laughs> I would take beads of love. <laughs> if you know it. I've never tried to play it in a violin, but I'll give it a shot. He's wearing a Scanlan reunion tour. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice. Oh, you're that guy. What, the I best character in the history of Critical Role? He's got full my motherfucker. It's into this, his yeah. <laughs> it's a, it takes a minute for Sanja to get into it, but then it becomes this kind of just like gentle, airy, fun rendition uh, that, that you, it's kind of like Beads of Love. You can, you can hear the melody in it, but it, you know, it's also, it doesn't quite have the same uh, energy from what you've experienced before, but it's not bad. Ghost violin no version of Beads of Love. lives up to the original. Yeah. It's funny because it's naughty. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd love to hear the lyrics sometime. <laughs> is, uh, is Kyle around? Uh, Kyle is the one that was napping in a pile. Oh, <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, the pile. Oh, he, had a, he had a hard outing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, was, he, he was weary. He just went and took a nap. <laughs> he got Gallagher to come. That was, that was a naturally occurring vicious mockery. It was just <laughs> one, one shot. I've been That's with funny. you for a hundred years. <laughs> He's the only one who killed somebody, so poor guy. Oh, yeah. maybe you earned the nap. Poor, poor, guy. Guy. poor guy. I'm just going to float around and just see. No, you're not going to steal Kyle. No. You can steal whatever you, you just want. Just one bone. Just, 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 just one femur bone. This is what happens. I will slowly <laughs> just, like, crawl slowly my way downstairs. Away at them. <laughs> just one? Yeah. Uh, what are you doing for I'm him? just going to walk around and see if I can find the double doors. I'm not going to go okay. in. I just want to see the lay of the ship. Okay. Yeah. So uh, the as soon as you head down from from, from the deck, uh, the first stairs descend and they switch back or lead down a hall. The switch back is where you first went that led into kind of this common area with like the cots and such. And then beneath that is kind of the 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 deeper so kind of storage hall, the cargo hall. Um, but the from, from the stairs that descend down, the hallway that goes straight leads. straight to the double doors like 10 feet later. So you remember walking past them as you all first descended into this oh, okay. open area. So yeah, you know where they are. All right. That's it, I just went okay. the door. What? Is this where the violin music is going? Mm -hmm. oh, Holy yeah, shit. It's a party. <laughs> Who did this? The whole patterning, he's got the one with the. Oh, you to the musician? Mm -hmm. Holy shit, that's cool. Thank you, that, that's Vindala. No? And points over at the, the game table, and there's one uh, thicker skeleton that, based on the, the jaw and the, uh, the brow, it, it looks to be orcish, half orcish, uh, just holds like a, like a presence of, of strength and, and kind of an, an honorable majesty for a skeleton in the room. And kind of has like a, a hand of cards in one hand that's kind of just hanging off to the side, and the other is in the process of kind of counting quietly other people's hands, kind of in his own way, like kind of invested in the tactics of the current game of play. Do they all have a blue glim glimmer of, of a sort in their sockets, or they, just some? They do. They uh, it's very faint in most of the crew, 
brighter in the the immediate kind of secondhand crew of uh, Cerulea and Woders, and the captain is the most vibrant, like burning flame. Do you all have um, cannons on this ship? No, no cannons. Uh, there, even just the pistols that we have here were taken from recent ships. That's a, that's a, a fun recent discovery. Um, otherwise, we're just, we're just used to more of the classic uh, ballista-style assaults. Oh, You've. Uh... You've stolen a, a lot of stuff, I imagine, as you've been killing people. Yeah. Is there <laughs> any um, like you know, stuff you're particularly proud of? Treasure, loot, really? uh, items. Yeah. I mean, who else are you gonna brag to? Impress us. Make a persuasion. Yeah, check. you're feeling the. <laughs> Come on. Oh, fuck it. God damn it. <laughs> persuasion. Uh-huh. Uh, twelve. Oh. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing about uh, finding and keeping delightful things is not letting people know what you have. Is that true? Because then they can't oh, try and take I it from know. you. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I don't steal. I don't know. None of us take it, do they? Actually, Fern's quite an adept pickpocket. Okay, well, we're just gonna come out with it. <laughs> well, I'm just you saying, if, say if, that, they're, if they're if they're if they're proud of their of their thieving, maybe uh, maybe a, a, a little friendly competition. Oh, a thief off. Like a little game. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe in the next 24 hours, maybe if she can swap something off of you, you would show us some of your booty. They all kind of look at each other a little strangely. How would you even measure such a competition? I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll you'll know it when she shows you something that she's purloined from your person. Well, uh, our methods of uh, larceny are a bit more upfront and brutal. You don't think you have the skills to pick her pocket? She's just a sweet little deer person. Maybe Odo. And uh, Buddha looks behind, and you can see in the far, far back corner is this like tall, thin skeleton who has uh, <laughs> who has a like a like a dark coat that's tattered just past the knees, and like a collar that's kind of flipped up a bit, and it's kind of just sitting there, and it's in the process of picking out what looks like seaweed that's kind of bunched into parts of the finger bones, and this is one of the one of the crew, uh, one of the like back crew that was chasing you down. Um, towards the end, that you <laughs> fell into the hole. We forgive. Yodo? Sure. Odo. 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 He is our best pilferer on the crew. Sure, well, we could give it a go. We also, um, oh, well, you don't, you don't drink. I was gonna say we know a really good game called What the Fuck is Up With That? <laughs> mm -hmm. We play it when we drink and it's fun, but. We don't drink. What do you, do you play rollies? <laughs> What's rolly? It's where you take your your dice and ever. you roll them, and then you see who wins. <laughs> it's kind of it, like war. Yeah, it's really, really complicated. It seems uh, simple at first, yeah. but the more you play it, the more it the takes complexity a moment to learn in a lifetime of match. Huh? You see a, a handful of the skeletons kind of lean in, intrigued. <laughs> what war? Where? What's Rollies from? Just uh, us. <clears throat> We're, um, we're game creators. Stop it. Stop. 
Oh, no. We have a game. We, we, game we have a publishing wing. No. Drop it. No. Drop it. Yes. yes. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> and that was the last anyone saw Bell's house. <laughs> um. They all kind of. You can see at the table the ones that are like playing cards, games of cards, and dice are all kind of like starting to look over a bit. Tell us more about this role. Here, uh, do you need those two dice right there? You can see one of the the uh, the twins kind of glances over. I, uh, you here? I'll just telepathically bring it up. They all kind of oh. telepathically, telekinetically. Tell it, tell it, tell it. Telephone, tele- tele- telemarketing. Tell it. Here, take one of your dice. I'll show you how it works. <laughs> Oh, the dice okay. that they have on board here are D20s? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Polyhedral is an Alexandrian <laughs> keeps it. I got a couple it. extra, I toss some wooden ones out yeah. there. Don't ask for those ones. Are they just Ashley's, now, <laughs> Ashley's baby teeth dice? We both roll and whoever gets a higher one wins. That's the, and then, that's the beginner level, level. And then whoever wins. Don't knock it. I think you need to play it to fully appreciate. Rollies. Oh, a one. That was a 16. Now you have to tell me a secret. <laughs> Double that... or nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Getting it. You said two secrets? It. What'd you roll? Or the gamble. Two. Three! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it exciting? It's fun. Triple or nothing. No, no, no. The skeleton's like, hold on, Runa. Like, no, 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 I'm getting this rule. I'm getting this rolly. You can do a very Tell me a game. secret. A one. I was allergic to cats when I was alive. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It must have been hard. Ask him if he was allergic to ghost cats. Did we stop talking? No roll. Use your mind powers to throw the game. Eight, three. Oh, I win. (laughs) Tell me your secrets. (laughs) One time, when I was little. I saw a bug that was crawling up a set of stairs. And it was. <laughs> I'm taking the dead one over there. Roll <laughs> You now see across the table, like, like the other ones are like. <laughs> <laughs> the crew members are putting their cards down a bit and like Bird. starting to look for other dice uh-huh. and like uh-huh. going. Mm-hmm. Question: Did twenty dead sailors just go? It took a minute for the eye lines to connect. Uh, does that mean uh, uh, Vendala is starting to is starting to? Vendala is looking a little frustrated. The Vendala is looking oh, frustrated no, that people are starting no. to pull away from the game that they were in the process oh. of playing. I'm just gonna walk by around the table to to. Sit down and have a conversation while I'm walking. I just want to lightly scan the twins' cards. Okay, make a perception check for me. Uh, no. Uh, no. No. Five. You see nothing. Yeah, no. <laughs> as soon as you start asking why, they both. Do we get an idea of what they were playing? Um, Do we recognize the game? You recognize, because uh, there are two different games going on. One you didn't recognize, and one you did. Uh, last you saw a game like this, at least, it was Fork at the Storm, which you played uh, at uh, Eos in the right. casino there. Mm-hmm. Though a less fancy Monday. presentation. Which one was that one? That was the one where you picked the three. Dice. Oh my Roll. god. This Are we going to be, be stuck doing this? this? Three days of rollies. Five-year-old house for the game. Four. Oh, oh, this is a double roll. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> that ends the game for the day. That actually ends the game for the day. No! 
what happens when they're the same? Uh, then you have to find a new partner. That's the part of the rules. You. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What as as created the, an addict. the gambling chaos begins to take root, not even a few hours into your multi day journey, the beginnings of. After this many years, they would have come up with that game themselves. It's a great game! Bonding comes in strange ways, but we'll see where it goes from here as we'll pull back on the ghost ship as it pushes into the mists, heading towards what you hope is the destination you requested. And that's where we'll finish tonight's episode.